MLP Digital Paint. Join me June 20th, 2020 at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on our Facebook Live. Bring a pre-painted canvas, a sand color, and your stenciled seashells or starfish. Last week on Instagram, we studied seven different topics that will help us paint this painting. The language of drawing in sand is as old as dirt. Perhaps we can't call it a still life, but we can call it a language. Drawing in sand can reference a border or a barrier. We can play games in sand and it can tip us off to a direction. It can bond us as a couple or it can just express happiness. No matter how elaborate it is, it's always in danger of disappearing. <laughs> By learning about sand, the fact that it comes in many textures and colors, and learning about reliefs, an art term defined as elevations and inequalities in a land surface, we can begin to study the very quiet and very still life of footprints, which will help us in our approach to our background. The footprint is not different from the sand, it's of the sand and it communicates to us. We understand how deep they are and can take notice also of age and gender. Take this time to figure out the color of your sand and if you will apply a footprint next to your still life, or if the still life is the footprint. What are flip-flops doing when they're not posing for Instagram photos? They're washing up on the shores of Kenya, Africa. There, they wait for flip-flop artist Francis Mutua and his team. The flip-flops are then escorted to his studio where they meet millions of others. After getting acquainted, the flip-flop is ready to perform his final duty as an animal sculptor. Like this piece, titled Remembering Sudan, Remembering the Last White Male Rhino on Earth. Read and learn more about this company, Ocean Soul, who now employs 900 Kenyans. Digital Paint Who isn't looking for that little circle of shade on a hot day at the beach? If we want to break down our subject and analyze it a little more, we can always look up vectors, clip art, and logos. Their simplification can tell us much, like it's darkest inside the dome, therefore we'll need to mix this color, or it can indicate wrinkles and shadows. So if you're going to use an umbrella as your still life, take a look at these simplified logos, vectors, and clip art. If you've already decided on the color and texture of your sand, and you've laid in two coats of paint on your canvas, then you're ready to contemplate the still life you will feature. I'm pursuing starfish and seashells, and I love the variety that clip art affords me. Once I find the ones that speak to me, I'll print them. And while it may seem like a lot of effort, I'll cut them out, trace them to whiteboard, cut them out again, and now I have my stencil to trace onto my canvas. When your stencil's complete, you'll be able to use it in a variety of ways, like decorating walls, or journals, or even t-shirts. Driftwood. 
pieces of wood, after floating on the sea, will wash upon the shore. When wet, they appear dark and glossy, but when dry, they're sun-bleached and flat. The Hokitika Driftwood and Sand Festival in New Zealand is still quiet and small, but producing powerful pieces and helps us study the spindly nature of driftwood. Blessed by an abundance of art materials that wash upon their shores, it costs only $10 for an adult and $5 for a child to win a $100 cash prize and the Punamu and Mutai coveted trophy. I encourage you to seek out local festivals. It's a day of fun, doesn't cost much, and you may come home a winner. The Brutalist Castle, a blocky form of architecture seen mostly in the 1960s. Compare this to a drip castle. You might think the engineering of the drip castle is much easier than the brutalist structure, but take a look at these pieces and how they defy gravity. They are polar opposites, but out of nothing comes something and proves our intentions as a creator can create our very own still life. I hope you've enjoyed our journey this week, pondering the language of summer still life and come to realize that we can create without a lot of money. I love what happens when these two styles come together.